uh, going to have a short video tonight. Uh, got a package in the mail we're going to open, so we're going to update everybody on this. Uh, but before I get started, again, continuing on the shout outs, um, there's uh, one particular guy I'd like to shout out tonight, and that's uh, SRV Jedi Knight. Uh, I'm guessing SRV stands for Stevie Ray Vaughn, and uh, anyway, uh, check out his channel. He just put up a couple videos today. SRV uh, put up some vids of himself playing bass in a band. I think they're called uh, Vegas Video. Is that right? Shoot, I I should have I should have paid attention before I came out here. I think that's right. Vegas something. Anyway totally kicks ass. If you guys like rock and roll, I can see Tommy Shu tuning into that. Good stuff, man. Great looking videos. Uh, great music. Uh, their guitar player has a website up and uh, does a bunch of videos on how to play guitar. You want to talk about a phenomenal guitar player. I checked out some of the videos. It's just like blow your mind good. We're going to open up a package today. These parts uh, I actually got in contact with the gentleman who owned the car that these parts came out of, I think back in August, and uh, he lived in the mountains, or lives in the mountains of New Mexico, and uh, unfortunately, by the time he got around to having some time to get the parts out of the car, they got their first snowstorm, and the car's been in the snow and under the snow uh, since then, and uh, finally snow melted enough and actually I think they had a snowstorm last week uh, it melted enough and and uh, he had enough time to get out there and get them for me so let's take a look at what we got now I will warn you I believe this piece is trash uh, it's simply a core for me to rebuild. But there are some other goodies in here, I think. Oh, yeah. This part has been hanging me up. Yeah, there it is. It's a dash. Oh, yeah. Check it out. But it is cracked to hell. And my hope was that... I'll put it out here. This section and this section were in good enough shape uh, that I could make this section and fill in the blank. And we'll be stripping this stuff off here and putting new foam on and the new vinyl. And uh, apparently the repops for this piece are complete trash. Uh, so you get a brand new one and it's junk to begin with. So I figured I'd be better off starting with starting with this than trying to buy a new one and somehow make it fit. Then there are some bottom pads yeah, that go underneath uh, where the steering wheel is. Go underneath, I'm sorry, where the dash is. They go underneath. He included the hardware which I asked him for. That's awfully nice of him. I've got some of it, but not all of it. Here's another little piece right there. Inspection cover for. Oh, let's see. This is this is the main tube that goes down the center of the car. If you need to replace anything, that's the inspection cover. I did not have that piece. And then uh, these are little vent covers for the heater outlets in the back of the car. And he included all the screws that go with them. So that was awfully nice. So there we go. Um, that was. Uh, that was a long time coming right there, and I haven't been able to... Here we go, we'll point this back at me. There we go, you see my bald spot. It's about that big. Uh, I haven't been able to do anything with my glass, with my windshield, uh, simply because uh, I didn't have a dash to put in, and uh, unfortunately, my dad's wife threw my dash away years ago so uh, I didn't even have one to rebuild so thankfully I was able to get this one so maybe uh, Gasser's Glass or Parrot Pilot you could help me out on this this appears to be metal right here 
uh, here and here, and then this is some kind of adhesive or mastic or something, some kind of foamy stuff. There you go. It's just kind of rubbery, foamy. My guess is uh, they poured this in a big mold with the metal in there to hold the screws in place. So my thought is probably come in here and grind this all down real, real easy and somehow put some foam on top of this and uh, hopefully get it all back together as one unit and then cover it in vinyl and uh, see what we get. I don't know, you guys tell me. I'm, this is new territory for me. But I'm just thinking if I can make this all one piece. And I'm not worried about the speaker grill. This is going away, so that's why these things cracked out. There was no metal across here, which I think uh, they would have cracked anyway, but you never know. I mean, anyway, so there you go. This is a long time coming. These are not exactly easy to find. And uh, the new ones, like I say, just aren't as good as the old ones. So, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Don't let your meat loaf.